Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Vivaldi web browser. And due to the longer, give or take, eight-week release cycle compared to the three to four, um, compared to the other browsers, Vivaldi once again is packed with new features and has been upgraded to version 6.7. And this update rolled out a little bit earlier today on the 25th of April, 2024. Now, I'm just going to dive straight in because there's quite a lot to get through. And if you are using a laptop, um, we now have a memory saver. So very similar to what we are getting now on Google Chrome and Brave and uh, Edge. Memory saver now has made its way into the Vivaldi web browser, which helps reduce memory usage by automatically hibernating tabs that you haven't used in a while. And obviously, when the memory saver is enabled, the browser deactivates inactive tabs so to get to the feature to toggle it on because it is turned off by default we head to our main menu settings and we head over to tabs and yeah you'll see memory saver free up memory from inactive tabs disabled by default and you've got automatic one hour two three six hours idle i'm going to pop that on automatic and just let the browser decide what it wants to do with inactive tabs now that's the first um, new feature. And then moving on to another one, you now have auto detection of feeds uh, by Vivaldi's feed reader. So basically um, what this means in a nutshell is that if you are using the feeds, I don't, but if you are, um, Vivaldi feed reader now helps you to discover more feeds on sites like Reddit, GitHub, and YouTube, which can make their feeds difficult to find. So if you are using that, that may be a step in the right direction. And then moving on to another one, and you can now create workspaces with fewer clicks, where previously you needed to make the workspace first. So you would then have to click on new workspace and then make the workspace, and then you would have to um, move your stuff, your tabs and so on into that workspace. Now that's all changing. And how this is all going to work, you now use control and click or um your command and click on Mac OS and what you do is you just select a couple of tabs so I'm just going to open up three start pages just to demonstrate so you use control you select those tabs and then all you do is you right click and then if you head back to your workspaces you will see now start page um, that's the tabs that have been added start page I did add a couple earlier before posting just to test so that's why it says five but nonetheless and um, those three have been added, which now the two before posting and the three makes it five. So there you go. And if you are using workspaces, that may be a nice, easy way just to um, add those the relevant tabs into your workspaces with a few with fewer clicks. And then you can also now export passwords and feeds. So to do this, we head to our file, head down to export, and you can see in our passwords and feeds and that's um, in addition to the bookmarks reading list notes and so on so um, that may be also a nice move in the right direction if you are exporting a lot of different bookmarks speed dials reading lists and so on from the Vivaldi web browser and then um, you can now tile apps with Windows split view on Mac now obviously I'm not running a Mac so I'm going to head to a screenshot from the release notes which will give us a general idea. So Vivaldi says Windows split screen view allows two sections, each displaying a different app and addition that Mac users, especially those using big screens, will obviously appreciate. And this is very similar, obviously, um, to the split screen we get um, in Microsoft Edge. So if you are on Mac OS, um, you can now tile apps and Windows split view on Mac. So those are the new features, guys. And then over and above that, Obviously, um, it will include the latest uh, security updates from the Chromium platform. So to double check your browser's up to date, as always on Windows, we just head to help check for updates. And this will update and start the update process. And if we head to help and about, uh, this will take us to the about a Vivaldi page. And yeah, we can see, if we just zoom in here a little bit so you can see it a bit better in the video, the browser has been updated to version 6.7.3329.17. And the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, 
has also received the update to version 124 now in line. That'll put that in line with all the other Chromium-based web browsers. And that's also been bumped up to version 124. And that will also include the uh, that will also include the four security fixes that rolled out during the course of this week. So obviously Vivaldi has taken the opportunity with this 6.7 upgrade to push in those security updates. And we had four security fixes rolling out. And one of the vulnerabilities that was addressed was a critical, which is a highest ranked vulnerability. So this is an important security update rolling out now for the browser. And the other three fixes that rolled out are all high severity, which is our second highest ranked. And they also address common exploits in the Chromium-based web browser. So the Chromium platform, to be exact, has been upgraded to version 124. 0.63, so that brings that more in line now with a Google Chrome. And there's a lot more going on. The change log is massive for this update, as they always are with Vivaldi. So when you update your browser, you will see the Vivaldi releases, and you can just click on that. And if you want more information, we've gone through the key highlights, as you can see, and just the change log from 6.6 .6 to 6.7 and it is massive so this will give you a lot more in-depth information regarding all the different fixes and add-ons and improvements and changes and so on uh, if you would be interested if i just uh, skip this because obviously we would be here all day uh, if we went through this whole change log so go check that out uh, if you'd like to see a little bit more info regarding what has happened but the key highlights as mentioned i think the big one here um for me personally, because I'm using a laptop, is that memory saver, which obviously will hibernate those inactive tabs according to your setting you have selected in the actual settings of the browser. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.